Good morning, everyone. We are here at the, I think it's probably the highest peak in Yer. We hiked up this morning. We are gonna take you on a tour around Yer today with us, and then we want you to decide if we made the right decision between Montpellier and Yer. So Yer is a town in the south of France on the Mediterranean. It, it dates back all the way to the 1200s. It's a population goes from I think about 56,000 and everyone has a different opinion, but two to three times the size of it. So there's a lot of tourists that come here for the beach. There's great hiking here. There's a peninsula that has amazing hikes out on cliffs where people jump off into the water. They have cutest restaurants out there. Oh. And there's a ton of kiddie parks in the summer. So our job today is to show you all of that. Uh, we're going to start with the market and we're just going to sort of progress from there. Just a croissant. So before we start our day in the market, we're going to start it like we start almost every day here in town. And that's with a little bit of coffee. He's right almost every day. <laughs> this is our little tradition that we've adopted here in France. And we kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, we both work from home, so it's nice to get out. And we love this guy and his coffee and his cute cafe. So we come here a couple times a week and we work from here. So Will and I and the kids have been living in Yer for six and a half months. And I am embarrassed to admit that we know very little about where we live. <laughs> In comparison to Costa Rica and Ecuador. We know a lot about the food, we know a lot about the bread, the and coffee. we know a lot about the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> well, isn't what that more all? What do you need to know? <laughs> um, but, we... but, but there is a Wikipedia page for, for yeah. So Will's catching us <laughs> There's up. There's so much we don't know. What don't we know, Will? Tell us. We don't know that this place is an exporter of palm trees. About 100,000 a year come from this area. I, what I do they do with them? I don't know. I Sounds only like... see like about four in our street. So well, that's they because must they've, be hiding them from us. They've extracted them all. Being a weary traveling family, one of the hardest things to do is to find a good supply of fruits and vegetables at the ready. We've never really had any tough times though. It's been really just a phenomenal experience here. Every Saturday this market comes alive and what I mean by market it's like a street fair of alive. fruits and vegetables. Everything's in season and it's fresh from the farmer. And the wonderful part is that it's like really affordable too. Yeah. You can fill up our whole basket for like about 10 euros. It's your basket. <laughs> 10 kind euros for all that. <laughs> so what we really like about this market is that it offers everything. It offers between wine and cheese and fresh flowers, Saucisson. sausage, and um, there's very little that you cannot get here. On the other side is like a whole side meant for fashion and, and, and belts and shoes and hats. And um, It's every Saturday and we actually do most of our groceries here. Where'd you go? I think it's a black radish. What are you trying? Black radish? No, no. <laughs> There's never a dull moment in this lifestyle, is there? Not with this food. <laughs> the cool part about everything is that we get to try something in every different country that we're at. Yeah, and what we do after is we go and we, um, Messi, we Google <laughs> how, to, how to use it. And no day at the market. Well, frankly, any day would be complete without cheese. Our unhealthy vice. <laughs> Our only Could vice. Could be worse, right? Because we have no other vices, right? you. <laughs> yeah, we're doing well. Brie, for, for sure. The for the kids. They love this. Alright, so, so the cool part about these market days is that they end off with everyone sitting around these sidewalk cafes and having either a beer or a coffee or Usually some type of cocktail. A we see a cocktail. lot of these green drinks. That <laughs> we have to ask we gotta figure out what it is. I mean, I don't want one right now because we have a long day ahead of us, but. But yeah, we, and so we, we end like that and then it makes it nice because, it, you know, end of the market and we've done our duty. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Can you give it to me, please? No, you're not grabbing the camera. You're micromanaging me. You're supposed to be okay. watching the kids. So we're supposed, to be talking about, talk. we're supposed to be talking about what we like and what we don't like about you. Yeah. 
It's getting really warm here and I'm finding that so far I think I'm going to adore spring. It's nice enough to go out and do stuff but it's before all the tourists arrive. <laughs> I have nothing against tourists but it, you know it's a cute little quaint town and I think it's gonna get full real fast. Oh look our favorite pizza place. Let's see if I can First day we actually have a chance to walk around t-shirts without thinking we need a jacket. Although hey, I'm on camera here. Get out of here. All right, just people want to hear me talk. I gotta edit more. <laughs> I mean, you've seen the market. We took you on a hike this morning. Now we're heading to the beach and the skate park. Um, what do you think? Did we make the right choice? I'm, I'm loving it, particularly today. I mean, we just had the minstrel winds here, so it was a little, little crazy. It was almost like. So this is the beach portion of the tour. We're at Almanar Beach and this area is known for being one of the best places on the planet for windsurfing slash kite surfing. Um, they have like a Grand Prix of kite surfing that people from all around the world come and check this place out. And from what we understand, our friend Julie told us this place is packed in the summer, like wall, body to body people um, with all the tourists and everything. Right now it's quite lovely. So reason number 586 and a half of why I like living in Yan, the beach, the food, the family. And the eyes. <laughs> and the eyes. <laughs> the bread eyes. <laughs> I'm eating. No, I'm talking about my <laughs> Give me some. This is the, a brand new goat milk cheese that was recommended by my cheese boyfriend. <laughs> it's delicious. How is it? I don't like your boyfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna do a triple back thing. <laughs> so when we moved here back in September, we thought that the beach is not that far away. We thought we would be here every single weekend, at least for one full day enjoying It was the reason why we and, moved here. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons was the beach. And we just, we haven't come to the beach much. I mean, we've been busy working a lot, but now that the business is launching tomorrow, tomorrow? we are making a commitment tomorrow. to come here. Wait, 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 tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. <laughs> so now it's, it's live tomorrow. By the way, newsflash, uh, tomorrow, World Town is going live. I know, I can't believe it's here. But we've committed to coming to the beach at least one day a weekend from here on out. Yeah, so... Eat cheese, relax, read, enjoy family, and... Yeah, we'll try not to, to vlog all about it because it'll get kind of boring, but, <laughs> but I think on our days off, we'll be at the beach. Jessica sleeping on the beach, Jessica sleeping on the beach, and more Jessica more cheese. <laughs> so since we don't have a car here, and yeah, we're relegated to using the bus everywhere we want to go, which honestly is, it's not that bad because we don't have to go that far too often because everything is pretty close by to where we live. Just, I, I love taking the bus. The days we go to the beach and the days we go to these little island resorts, those are the days that we have to take the bus. But that's usually about what, once a month or something like that? Uh, once a month, maybe twice a month. Um, Okay, so last part of the afternoon before we have evening festivities is showing you guys what the skate park here looks like. What do you think, Largo? Is it going to be fun? Yeah. Yeah, are you ready to shred it on the skate park? Uh, I, I don't want to go in. I'm too nervous. Oh. What just happened there, Largo? Is this your favorite part about year? Uh, kind of. I don't want to leave either, Largo. It's pretty fun. Especially after I'm getting so good. You can't even go on the little one. <laughs> My favorite part about year is the skate park and go-karting. I think uh, there's going to be bowling and laser star in that list, but I haven't been there yet. My favorite part about Yair is the speed cart and the monkey chunks like place and the amusement park. That was really fun. Do you think you would have liked this place more than Montpellier or do you think Montpellier? No. Uh, Montpellier would have been better. Montpellier much more stuff to do and I, I'm, not, I'm not a little town girl, I'm a city girl. I'm a California girl. I'm actually <laughs> saying that this place has more to do. Uh, I I'm done. What? No we one mentioned cheese. Oh, cheese. 
You can get every. You can get cheese anywhere, Ma. Are you gonna climb that orange tree and? Okay. <laughs> I gotta do a Michael Pull up Jordan. your pants. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was really good. As all of them come tumbling down. Doesn't every town have its <laughs> own orange grove? As you walk by, you can just take it. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cool part about here is that yeah. oranges are free. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't know if that's free. I don't know if we're supposed to well, do that. No one else takes them. They've been here for like two months. They have been there for two months. So. I'm taking them unless they're like pesticide ridden. Pick but... them the police. <laughs> anyway, so we're done with the skate park and now we're going to be going to uh, a dinner today. Uh, we have friends of ours that are playing a jazz quartet and, uh, and we're going to go check them out. We're really excited because Live music is one of the things that we don't get a lot in here, and tonight's a little rare treat that we get it. So this is not an everyday experience, but tonight we're gonna pretend like it is because it's tonight and it's going on. You ready to go see it? Do you guys notice all the palm trees as we're walking by? By the way, they're, they're gonna be, all be extracted. From they're all gonna be like in. By <laughs> they're going to Minnesota <laughs> tomorrow. And now for my favorite building in the air. The library. The library. Right? It's our favorite building, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, books, magazines, newspapers, they have many different languages. Movies. Movies, and we come and rent stuff here in French for the kids. It's a really amazing library. The best one we've had in all of our travels. All we've been doing is going about enjoying a leisurely Saturday afternoon. Absent. In yeah, with, with with also a big hike that we took in the morning. We don't normally do that. Not at 6 a.m. Not at 6 a.m. Not with two kids and starting a business. And after going to bed at 1 a.m. Yeah, but but either way, so that's been our day today, and it's gonna be tough to push it together. But you know, we want we want to show you what this place is all about and uh, why we think we made the right choice. Let's see if you agree with us. It's why we think we made the right choice, and whether we think that we should rethink our choice. Oh, so we're we gonna jump ship now. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But, Change but, gears. All right, everyone on the train. We're moving to Montpelier. <laughs> yeah. One of the things we really love about this town is the nightlife. Um, well, I think we'll love it. This is our first time out at night. <laughs> It's kind of cool though, there, there's all these cute little Italian restaurants um, and with live music and jazz. So what Will's not telling you is that the lady that's singing is my, actually my jazz singing teacher. Yes, I know, don't get all excited. I, I have a professional background in jazz singing. <laughs> not really. The cool part about this whole area is that it's all based in southern France, which is so close to the Italian border that you get so much of a great Italian influence. You can check out these amazing desserts they got here. Tiramisu. So that's it, guys. We, we just finished this day and yeah, we hope you really liked it. The dinner was actually The so dinner good. was awesome. The music was fantastic. It was so nice to hear live music. But I mean, yeah has a lot to offer. You know, it's a sleepy town a little yeah. bit. But I like it, it. I think it's where we need to be right now. I said that, but I, you know. I know, I know, I know, but I need to be reaffirmed. So that's about it. Yeah, what do you think? Did we make the right choice? I hope so. <laughs> we made it, so we're I'm okay with it. I'm the readers, I mean the viewers. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here. Remember to subscribe and to live your life. Love your family. And learn through travel. And see us next time on World Towning. Yay. <laughs> I love the beach. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of long-winded. Do you want to do that again? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you're recognizing that. Mm.